Well, 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 here's the VW XL1, a car that many of you have written in and asked about. So we're kind of doing a little Q&A session around this one. First of all, are they making it? Yes, sort of. They've made about 50 so far. Another 200 are coming in Q2 of 2014, and that should be the whole production run. So production's a funny word at numbers that small. Next up, why isn't every car like this? This being a turbo diesel hybrid. One of the rare cars in the world that does that. 31 miles of electric range, something like 240 US MPG. I mean, this is a stunning achievement, right? Looks a little funny, but hey, I think it would find a market, except for one problem, the price. It would be about 150 grand US if you converted it from the European price they're selling it to people at. So you can't live long enough to make the fuel economy of this vehicle ever pay for it, even at 240 MPG. Now the other question is, why don't more cars have this magic combo of the efficiency and torque of a diesel with the efficiency and torque of an electric? That should tip you off to the problem. The two kind of overlap too much. They both do the same thing, efficient low-end torque. A gas hybrid combo, they kind of help each other out more. They don't step on each other as much. Another reason is cost. Diesels have a price premium. Electric has a price premium. Put them together, you get a big price premium that most buyers aren't interested in. Back here is the motive power area, a little two-cylinder turbo diesel. It's exotic in its architecture and displacement. And then, of course, you got the hybrid gear coupled with it. But notice what's all around us here. Carbon fiber. Yeah, that's not exotic, so that doesn't add cost. It's part of the reason this vehicle is exceptionally expensive in its low volumes. Now, as I was one of the 10 people who loved the original Honda inside, as you can imagine, I also love this guy. The seating configuration is similar. It's tiny. It's teardropped. The seat over here is kind of offset. It's pushed further back. It's not your conventional car. And with this big old seal, getting in it makes getting into a Countach look easy. Oh, notice we've got the Car Show Classic screens with cameras instead of side view mirrors. But it does give you an idea of where engineering can go in a real production car today if you're looking for high MPG at any cost.